Welcome back to the Owen family. Today we have some exciting news. We will be doing a Christmas raffle giveaway during the month of November of 2023. Make sure you watch this video all the way through so you can see how you can enter to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Last year I posted a video showing you guys everything that our Elf on the Shelf did for our kids the first year that we had them in 2020. You guys loved it so much I decided to make another one for all of the things that they did the following year, which was 2021. So let's get right into it. Our elf always comes back the day after Black Friday, so the first day is always a Saturday. The first day, we found our elf at the bottom of the stairs saying, I'm back, and he had a present for the kids. When the kids opened the present, they found a Girl Scout elf with a note that said, I see you have a new baby this year. With more kids, I'm going to need more help. I've brought a new Girl Scout elf to be assigned to your family as well. Remember to pick a name so she can get her magic. The kids read the Elf on the Shelf book to remind them how it works and to greet their new elf. Since the boys named the boy elf Twinkle Toes, we let the girls pick the name for the girl elf. Time I come to the place you go home, you must give me a name of your own. For my own. Once you fill out the information you can start, what will you call me, Sparkle or Heart? Will it be Fugle, Criddle, or Fudd? They decided to call her Snowflake. The second day, the elves brought the kids a Harry Potter Lego Advent Calendar. They love Legos and it has something that they can do each day. They brought us tickets to the jazz game for that night and they had jerseys for all of us to wear. As you will see in this video, this particular year, the theme the elves went for leaned more towards doing experiences with the kids and with the family and not so much just stuff, but making memories together with experiences. Last year's video was more about the funny things that the elves did each day, so you can check out that video too if you are interested or need some ideas for that. The next day we found our elves pulling out our 24 days of Christmas book that we read each year. For some reason Snowflake was on the floor, she must have fallen over. The elves told us to have fun at our Christmas party and we ended up seeing the Grinch and Santa Claus. The next day, the elves brought the kids some empty Christmas lists to fill out. We still had our elf mailbox from last year, so all of the kids wrote their Christmas lists and put them in the elf mailbox. This year was also the time when we had our very first litter of puppies, so we had a lot going on and I think our elves knew that because some of the days they just took it easy and sat in a new place during the night. Our kids love having puppies. They each pick their favorite and give it a name. We decorated our house that weekend and the next morning we found them playing in the tree decorations. The next morning we found Twinkle Toes and Snowflake next to a Christmas movie jar with a note that said, everyone write down your favorite Christmas classics and put them in the jar. For all those nights when you can't decide what to watch, you can randomly pick one from the jar to decide for you. So all the kids put their favorite movies in and we drew one out for a family movie night that night. We also used it all month long to decide what we watched for the movie nights. The elves brought us tickets to go to Christmas in Color that night. We go every year. It is a local Christmas light drive through and the kids just love it. That night we got our very first snowstorm of the season, so in the morning the kids found the elves snuggled in a Christmas sweater in the car seat. We also let the puppies try out the snow for the very first time. They did not stay out too long. We found Snowflake hanging from a fruit roll up down the light. During this time, I had recently graduated with my bachelor's in accounting and all of my closest friends threw me a surprise graduation party. They rented a limo and brought us to see Christmas lights and took me out to dinner. It was so sweet of them. The next morning, the elves were playing with my graduation balloons and flowers. 
This morning, the kids had a hard time finding the elves. They looked everywhere and we finally found them in the dog kennel watching the puppies. The puppies turned eight weeks old this day and I think the elves knew that this would be the last day we got to spend with them before they go to their forever homes. We got to take the puppies to their eight week old vet checkup and then each of the kids got to help bath their favorite puppy and get them ready to meet their new family. Each of the families were scheduled to come at different times throughout the day. So we got to have that one-on-one -on -one time with each one before we had to say goodbye. This day was also mine and Dean's 11 year wedding anniversary. This was a fun way to spend it together with the puppies. <laughs> Twinkle Toes and Snowflake brought us tickets to go see a movie in the theaters. On Christmas Eve, we went to Grandma's house and sang Christmas carols with the cousins, and each of the kids said goodbye to the elves, knowing they would be leaving with Santa that night. Every Christmas, we have a tradition where we eat breakfast upstairs and none of the kids can go down until we are all ready to go together. So after they eat, they wait on their stair in age order. Come in line. Daddy, Daddy, this okay. is ladies first. Okay. <laughs> that letter on the table was from Twinkle Toes and Snowflake telling the kids goodbye and pointing out some of the awesome things that they noticed about each of the kids this season and things that they were proud of. The look on the kids' faces is everything. We still had one puppy left who was scheduled to be picked up the next day because his new family was from out of state and they were coming after Christmas with their kids. So we gave our dogs their Christmas stocking and they got to play with their new toys. And that last puppy got to spend Christmas with his mom and dad all to himself. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out last year's Elf on the Shelf video, I will link it right up here. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. We will be doing a Christmas raffle giveaway during the month of November of 2023. I know during the Christmas season, we all have extra expenses, money is really tight. So we wanted to say thank you to all of our loyal viewers this holiday season. So we decided to do a Christmas raffle giveaway where two lucky winners will win a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is, first, hit that like button. Second, make sure you are subscribed. Third, share this video with a friend. And fourth, leave me a comment letting me know when you've done those things. It's super easy and doesn't cost you a thing. Let me know what was your favorite part of the video, what are your holiday plans this year, and tell me what would you use this gift card for. I will be announcing the two winners in one of my upcoming videos that I post at the end of November 2023. So make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you can claim your prize if you are the winner. Just a disclaimer, I will never ask you for personal financial information. So if you get contacted by somebody asking for those things, that is not me, that is a scam. Do not give out your personal financial information. Also, YouTube is not associated or responsible for this giveaway. You can see a full list of the official rules in the description. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you are the winner. Bye.